today's episode is a review of the Nightcore SC2 superb charger that's been supplied by GearBest. This charger will charge all of the battery chemistry types that I have in my possession, plus some I do not have. Inside the box we'll find of course the charger as such, instructions and a mains cable. Now these battery bays are really nice and springy, feels like silk, best I ever had. It accepts uh, mains voltage and 12 volts from a car adapter, which is an optional extra. Now one thing up front, I don't like that the voltage and current uh, markings uh, come off with what at first glance looks like a protective film over the display. For most of your everyday batteries, you can just uh, smash them into the two charge bays and it'll start charging right away. Here for argument's sake, I have two um, batteries at different charge levels and we'll see the difference that it makes here. Now you'll notice that the right side bars actually do not reflect voltages, they more reflect like the charge level of the battery in that battery bay. And you can also see that here when I connect the voltage meter. And let's see where charging stops because we're already a bit on the high side. So let's do the timey-wimey thing and let's go to the end of the charge process. See at what voltage it terminates. And here we go. Charging stopped at 4.295 volts, which is beyond the cell's manufacturer's recommendations. After charging has stopped, the voltage drops down to a safe level, so, well, I guess we'll get away with that. Now we do have a 3 amp charger and of course with a 3 amp charger we want to charge at 3 amps. So we select the slot and keep pressing the C for current button until it switches to 3 amps and now we're charging at 3 amps. You only have to change the voltage on some uh, rather uncommon battery types like 3.8 volt lithium ion batteries where you need to set it to 4.3 volts and lithium ferrite phosphate batteries where you have to set the termination voltage to 3.7 volts. Speaking of infinite intelligence, how does it detect the capacity of the cell? Because the manual claims that the char charger detects the capacity of the cell and sets the charge rate accordingly. Now I have the suspicion that if I use this makeshift spacer to make my smaller battery appear bigger, it will be recognized as uh, 18650, which is the case. So it now charges at 2 amps and I better take it out quickly because that is not a supported uh, charge rate for this battery. The battery charger also doubles as a USB charger and if I plug in my rechargeable USB device, sure enough the charge light comes on. If I insert a cell into the second slot, it stops charging until either the cell is removed or the cell is full. Here we go again. Now that was my review of the Nightcore SC2 charger. A few more hints on this charger on my blog at www.areresearch.net.